Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Academics. In this video, we are going to discuss about the definition of stochastic multi armed bandit problem, where we'll first need to know about what is stochastic, what is multi armed bandit problem. Uh, when coming to stochastic, stochastic refers to a system or a process that involves randomness or uncertainty, where outcomes are determined by probability rather than being fixed or deterministic. Whereas multi armed bandit problem, it is a mathematical problem that involves making decisions in the face of uncertainty. Imagine a slot machine with multiple arms. Let's have a look about that. Wait a while. Okay, we'll see the slot machine. Here it is. This is called a slot machine with multiple arms, each with different probabilities, giving us a reward when the three images are same. So the goal is to choose the arm that maximizes the cumulative reward over the time. Then let's go back. Hmm. So in reinforcement learning, the stochastic multi-arm bandit problem refers to a problem where an agent interacts with an environment by selecting a set of actions. Means he selects uh, or he hits the levers or arms of the machine and uh, the main aim is to get the maximum reward. So each action has an associated unknown reward. That agent or uh, person who is playing that machine slot, slot machine, uh, he doesn't know about what reward is associated with every action. So they are just allowed to play the game. These reward distributions are stochastic and random. Anyone don't know about which action is going to take which reward, meaning that rewards are obtained from selecting an action may vary across different interactions from selection from one selection to another selection that vary. Like if you select one, you may get higher, or the next you select one, you may get lower. That is random. There is no possibility that you'll always get a good uh, reward. It is like produces random rewards. So the agent's objective is to learn a policy that makes the total rewards obtained over a sequence of actions. Means the agent could uh, prepare a plan or a strategy so that the he can increase his rewards or maximize his uh, re cumulative reward. And then uh, another analogy is that of doctors choosing between experimental treatments for a se series of seriously ill patients. So a uh, doctor may choose an action between how to treat their parents uh, who are very seriously ill and each action of the treatment receives a reward like patient survives or else he may die. Each of the key actions has an expected reward that is called value of the action. So uh, here a suffix of e defines action selected on a given time interval time step t. R of t means the corresponding reward earned over a period of time. Then q star of a means the value of an arbitrary action is expected reward given that a is selected. The value of action a q star a equals to e of event of r reward by action taken equals to a. If suppose imagine that you are the agent and you know the value of the each action then it would be trivial for you so that you can choose the arms and you may get more highest rewards or highest values or you can take the actions which which uh, leads to higher rewards. So we assume that the agent do not know the action values with uncertainties. So he should estimate, he should make a plan to get higher rewards. So this is the picture of the slot machine used in olden times and here uh, let's have a look at pure exploration and pure exploitation. It is an example like exploration. When you go to a restaurant or a hotel, you just try new dishes or uh, various dishes included in the menu that is exploration whereas exploitation leads to uh, some people only go to that particular restaurant several times and they just only order their only old favorite dish every single time they don't, they don't want to uh, try the new dishes so that is called pure exploitation and this is called pure exploitation so the agent sometimes tries uh, various actions to be taken uh, which action leads to which reward he tries and then sometimes he uh, tries the old actions old actions previously based actions he takes on so balancing these actions can uh, help in reducing this problem. What's this problem called? Uh, stochastic multi arm bandit problem can be reduced by using balancing these pure exploitation and pure exploration. So this is another picture of like multi arm bandit problem. And see, sometimes it may occur 70% or sometimes it may occur 30%, 55%, 40%. 40 it is like random. We don't know. Ooh. Then uh, next moving on to this, we denote the estimated value of an action at a time step t as q of q suffix of t of a. Um, so the agent applies exploration and exploitation strategies during the initial in interactions. Then the agent explores all different actions to gather information. So he travels all, he explores all the environment to gather, explores everything to gather the information about the reward distribution, what action is going to be, which reward. So he gathers all those information and then next he exploits the environment by selecting the actions which give us the higher rewards. So at any time step, there is an at least one action whose estimated value is greatest. So these actions are called as greedy actions. What do you call them as? Greedy actions. So the actions which are at least one action is estimated value is great. Then those actions are called as greedy actions. If you other than that, uh, if you select one of these actions, we say that you are exploiting your current knowledge. Uh, 
when non greedy actions means opposite to these greedy actions you are when you are exploring when you are exploiting means greedy actions when you are exploring the environment means non greedy actions so because this enables to improve your estimate of the non greedy actions are used uh, exploring may produce the greater total reward that depend on the another and their values in a long run as the agent continues to interact with the environment by applying ri techniques it learns and updates itself or it updates the policy mainly it updates the policy or the plan uh, and then it it updates based on the previous actions it made and the rewards it receives uh, updates frequently and then the agent uses these estimates to make informed decisions on which action to select in subsequent interactions with the environment action value methods the true value of an action is the main reward that action is selected which is calculated by averaging the rewards actually received so action value uh, is defined as sum of rewards of actions taken then when an agent suppose assume that when an agent takes an action a prior in a time uh, that's all sum of uh, rewards received by uh, how many times that the action is selected is equals to action value method true value of an action we call this as sampling average method so uh, if we select one of the action with the highest estimated value then it is called greedy action selection method and the formula for this is this <laughs> exploits current maximum okay wait for a while so by choosing the greedy action selection method when you are only choosing the highest estimated values then it may leads to exploit the current knowledge to maximize the immediate reward so we also need to exploit and we also need to explore so by balancing those exploitation and exploration we may achieve some greater rewards like a simple alternative method is like epsilon minus epsilon greedy action selections with some probability uh, e sorry probability e randomly from among all the actions to see if they might be better so when let's talk about incremental implementation with constant memory and cons constant uh, uh, time to time step computation to simplify notation we concentrate on a single action here rfi rewards rfi defines to rewards received after the ith selection of this action means the ith number of time the action is selected that reward is called as r of i then q of n is the estimate of its action value formula is r of i rewards reward 1 plus reward 2 and so on up to reward n minus 1 by n minus 1 uh, when talking about this formula i'll share you something wait wait for a second so when we discuss about incremental formulas here given q of n and the nth reward r of n the new average of all n rewards can be computed by this formula q of n by 1 by n into summation of r of i from i equals to 1 to n so see here where uh, so this is the formula q of n equals to 1 by r of n sorry in this formula we have to derive it so q of n plus 1 equals to 1 by n summation of r of i from i equals to 1 to n so from this we can say q, what will be q of n by this we can say q of n equals to uh, we will substitute minus 1 to this Ma minus 1 means plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled here n minus 1 and next here also n minus 1 here also n minus 1 instead of n we are substituting n minus 1 here so to get r of i summation of r of i from i equals to 1 to n minus 1 this is like we are moving multiplying q of n with uh, n minus 1 we are simply moving this to here this is the formula let us assume that this is as equation 1 now taking this again q of n plus 1 equals to uh, 1 by n is written as it is this r of i can also be written as up to rewards received by n -th term plus rewards received up to n minus 1 -th term so this can be written like this r of i can be written like this where here this is the formula we have written here right okay i will erase this wait a second so here uh, this r of y r of summation of r of i value is substituted here means n of n, n minus 1 into q of n is written here here and next uh, we are simply multiplying this with this and this with this q of n minus q of, q of n minus 2 n minus q of n and then next again we are substituting multi sorry multiplying 1 by n with each term in this brackets r of n by n plus q of n into n by n minus q of n by n once we are cancelling n and n are common then we are cancelling this and this and then here 1 by n here it is common and 1 by n here it is common we are taking 1 by n common in this both the terms and then next q of n is taken first and in these terms 1 by n is taken common 1 by n into r of n minus q of n then now substitute n value equals to 1 where 1 plus 1 is 2 then q of 2 next n value is 1 so q of 1 plus 1 by n is 1 by n value is 1 then next r minus q means r of 1 minus q of 1 where plus q1 minus q1 is gets cancelled and the value is q2 equals to r 
so the value is q2 equals to sorry q2 equals to r so this is uh, this formula is an updated rule that occurs frequently in the subject so it is easy for you to remember this make sure that remember this formula it occurs so many times in this subject so and next uh, let's uh, let us see the general form of this new estimate q of n plus 1 implies uh, old estimate plus step size into target minus old estimate this is a simple banked algorithm maybe it's not necessary i think so but still q of a tends to 0 0 tends to n of a loop forever r not expanded so remember this algorithm i think so it's not necessary if you need it you may prepare and let's end this session or uh, don't panic that this the same this uh, I didn't understood why here n minus 1 by 1 by n minus k and where did this 1 by n minus 1 went in this step? I don't understood. That's why I've kept here what I have solved here and explained to you. If you didn't understand, uh, it's not my problem. Sorry for that. Um, actually, I didn't understand these steps. So that's why I've solved something here and I got my clarity. If you didn't get clarity, uh, once again, check the video one more time with a slow speed. Thank you. We'll end this session.